Okay, today's video, we're gonna look at all of these different caliber offerings. I'll let you guys know what I think. In these crazy times, the most efficient, effective, and available ammo out there today. You guys know if you follow the channel, week after week, I go out and I do ammo hunts. So I know for the last week, year, month, two years, what's on the shelf, what's not been on the shelf, and the cost that it's been at. Everyone knows the costs have been crazy. It's gone through the roof over the last couple of years. So I got three different categories we'll look at with each one of these. I'll tell you guys what I think is the most effective, efficient, and cost available ammo today. We talk about large, medium, small game, and the possibility of potentially using it at, for a sniper at 100 yards, 200, 400, 1,000 yards if need be, and maybe even to defeat some body armor. With the next category we'll talk about is availability. Obviously, availability is can we find it on the shelves? Do we have it week after week when we go to the stores? And then obviously the last category is cost. So we'll take a look at each one of these. We'll break them down and I'll let you guys know my choice. First up, we got the 5.56. Obviously 5.56 from an effective standpoint, it's not gonna pass the test. It will take down small game. Most people won't use 5.56 for deer hunting. So that kind of puts right off the bat the 5.56 out of the running for the three categories that we talked about. Obviously it's gonna be available, and obviously it's gonna be cost effective, but it doesn't have the effective range we're looking for, so your 5.56 is gonna be out. Up next, we got a 243. 243 has been around forever. We get to looking at each of the three categories. The effectiveness, yeah, it'll be effective for small and, and medium game. I'm taking down a lot of deer with the 243. However, when we look at the last category, which is availability, just not seeing this on the shelves. I go day after day, I do these ammo hunts. I've been doing it for over a year, and you just rarely see 243 ammo, which is a shame because it's a really, really good cartridge. Up next, we got the 270. Uh, obviously, from an effective standpoint, 270 is gonna be able to take down small, medium game, no problem, even ill size game. Uh, the problem I have right now with the 270, if we look at all the three categories, is the availability. So I'm just not seeing a whole bunch of 270. Uh, you see a couple different offerings, three or four boxes maybe, but just not seeing it, especially not as much as our winner, which we'll get to later. Up next, we got the 6.5 Creedmoor. 6.5 Creedmoor, from an effective standpoint, obviously it'll take down small game. It'll take down medium-sized game. Probably could even use it to take some large game. Wouldn't be my first choice, especially not with our overall winner. But then you look at the availability and the cost. Uh, 6.5 Creedmoor ammo is probably going to be price pointed out. Uh, a lot higher than our overall winner. And obviously, from the availability standpoint, just not seeing a whole lot of 6.5 Creedmoor ammo, especially not compared to our eventual winner. Up next, we got the 30 out 6. So, you know right off the bat, 30 out 6 is going to check off the effectiveness box, small, medium, large game, no problem. Uh, the cost, $40, $45 a box, which is a lot higher than most people want to pay. But then you look at the availability, and the availability is just not there. Uh, 30 out of 6, I'm rarely seeing on the shelves. I see one or two boxes, maybe uh, one store here, one store there. So that's going to knock the 30 out of 6 out. And up next, we got the 7 mag. 7 mag is a really, really good round. Uh, obviously, it's going to pass the effectiveness. Uh, availability, not there. Rarely see 7 mag. I may go weeks or months without seeing any 7 mag ammo in the stores. So, we got all of these choices. What does that leave us? You guessed it, the 308 Winchester. 308 has been around forever. It checks off all the boxes. Uh, it's effective, it's available, the cost. You got a ton of different offerings. You can get a ton of rifles chambered in 308. I'll uh, clip in and show you guys a video here. So this is my first day in Cabela's. I just went yesterday just for this video, and this entire section was 308 ammo, all the way from the top shelf, all the way down to the bottom. There was as much 308 ammo here as all the rest of the ammo for rifles combined. And every offering that you can imagine, all the way down from 130 grain, all the way up to 180 grain, and as cheap as 25.99. Just a ton of 308 offering uh, here at Disco Bellas. And this was my run to Academy. This entire shelf is nothing but 308 ammo. You can see here there's more 308 ammo than all the other caliber offerings combined, uh, just like Cabela's. So as you guys saw from those videos, 
308 is widely available. There was more 308 ammo in the stores that I visited than any other ammo combined. Uh, you got, if you want to, you can go 762 by 51 and get you some FMJ uh, to try to defeat some body armor if you have to. You got polymer tip, you got copper. You got so many different options in 308. I would be willing to bet out of all the ammo I have, and this is just some of the 308 ammo I have, you can go all the way down from 130 grain all the way up to 200 grain with 308 ammo. Um, this is just some of the ammo I have for 308. I got some herders here. This is 150 grain. Got another box here, 180 grain. We got Norma. That's I think this is 150 grain offering. Um, 100, another 150 grain copper Winchester HP core locked. I got some cheap 100 Monarch 145 gram ammo here. Got some True Velocity ammo here. I think it's 168 gram. You just got so many different offerings with 308. Uh, it's tried and true. It's a legacy cartridge. Uh, so my choice right now with these crazy times is definitely going to be the 308. If you don't have a 308, it's also a joy to shoot. It's not going to beat your shoulder up. You can shoot 308 all day. Uh, go check out this video right here. We do a comparison with the 308 and the 50 Bell Wolf. Really, really cool video. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. You got today's winner. It's the 308 Winchester Jr. Out.